Hi, are you trying to understand what is earnest money in a contract? Is it refundable? Does it go towards your down payment? These are a lot of great common questions and I'm gonna address those today as well as talk about several tips you should know before you get into contracts. I'm Teresa Wellman with HomeownerExperience.com, a local San Jose, California realtor. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. So first question, what is an earnest money deposit? Well, it has several different names, so let's just clarify those to start. EMD is one way to abbreviate earnest money deposit. It can also be called your initial deposit or your due diligence money. Now, I'm talking specifically about your earnest money and a real estate contract today. Basically, it's telling the seller that you as a buyer really like this house, but need to try it out, explore, the nooks and crannies and really understand if this is the right fit for you. So typically in San Jose, your EMD is 3% of the purchase price. Now is this earnest money deposit part of your down payment? If you're putting 20% down on your home purchase, the 3% earnest money deposit will go towards that 20% down. So come a couple days before close of escrow, you need to bring in the balance remaining of 17% of that sales price to total the 20% down payment. Now don't forget there are gonna be some loan fees and other things to consider as well in that cost, but as far as down payment, yes, that 3% earnest money deposit does go towards that amount. Another question I get, or it's really nice to know ahead of time, is when is your earnest money due? The default in the California real estate contract is within three business days of offer acceptance. Now please consult your local agent regarding what's customary or required for the house that you're gonna make an offer on. You're going to be writing a check or sending a wire to the third party escrow company. The escrow company will deposit those funds into their neutral third party bank account. Now the big question, is your earnest money deposit refundable? Now what that means is you as a buyer will talk with your agent ahead of time to determine what kind of contingencies you need on the sale. If you don't understand what a contingency is, please watch the video above that I'm going to link that discusses what those are. So yes, your earnest money deposit is refundable if you are removing or backing out of the contract within the time frame you set up in your contingency period. Are you putting a realistic contingency time frame in the contract? It's much better to ask for what you need ahead of time and work with your agent to set realistic timelines. So the other side of that, of is your earnest money deposit refundable, the answer being no, would be if you are deciding to not proceed with the contract once you've already removed your contingencies. There are several legal processes that need to go through to understand and really end the contract there. So you need to speak with your agent about those details. But if you have signed off on a full contingency release form, then your contingencies are gone. And if you do not close escrow after that time when you've signed that form, it is very likely that your earnest money deposit will be at risk and not be refunded. So be aware and choose those contingency time periods carefully. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please hit the thumbs up button and like it. If you have any further questions that maybe I didn't explain clearly or didn't cover, please comment below and I'm happy to get back to you. Again, I'm Teresa Wellman with HomeownerExperience.com, a local San Jose, California realtor. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos on this topics about real estate in San Jose area, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.